Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's list, we're gonna play some uh, Enslave Five, Enslave, my favorite uh, archetype. Uh, this is Brother Jams's Cam's list from the Open qualifiers over the weekend. Uh, we'll go into the list and everything. Uh, first, a huge shout out to uh, Into the AM once again for sponsoring the channel. They have awesome shirts available over on their website with colorful designs. Uh, amazing quality and comfort in all their shirts i went with the basic one today with the just a, the little logo but they have the ones with the the spaceman logo on them everything they they put out looks fantastic feels good looks good uh, check out the description for the link where you can get 10 percent off anything in the store or when you check out just make sure you use uh, the promo code devil's deal and you will get 10 percent off everything in the store once again, thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring the channel. We love you guys. Thank you. All right. So going into the list here, we got uh, Terra Nova. I love this card, man. Uh, when he was busted, I was sad because I revealed a card that was busted. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, it has options with... Uh, the mage torture going to ham with the reveals you also have options too with fair cart because he can um put spying on something um but i really love this card gives you great options um joaquin and coup if you're being bled you got the pulls with the uh, torture or the turncoat um, yeah, I mean you could pull other things like fur cart or Milton or something like that, but um, you got great thinning tools with fur cart and Dead Man's Tongue. I love the Milton inclusion. It's mostly there for um, The bloody mistress Karen Thier copy it kills it instantly. So they just played all that for nothing but um, you can also to set it up with your own spies from uh, you know out of hand with Duchess informant or emissary or spawning it with uh, Brathens as well. Really great card in this list. Um, I just like it. Just has that like feel of a just a controlly list that I like. It uh, it feels good. Um, I'm I'm a huge fan of it. I think it's great. Um, I got a couple games for you here. I got to do um, overview though, because for some reason the two games I recorded, my sound didn't come through for whatever reason. So. Um, it's, it's going to be me commentating on me playing, <laughs> but, um, just thank you guys so much for everything, man. Um, sorry, I only got a couple videos out last week. I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, but, um, you know, all these things, the into the AM stuff and just all the great comments and 6k subs, it's all possible because of you. So just thank you so much. I'll see you guys at the end. This is big enough. My dynasty will reign for 1,000 years and longer. There we go. All right. So we had some um, monsters in the first game. Once again, we you see the struggle with proactivity on on blue though, unfortunately. Um, I probably should have kept that uh, emissary, but um, I will say I did make one big mistake here. Um, so I play the Mage Torture out of hand. Oh no, I, I play uh, Menno and go with um, Diplo, which was a huge mistake because the, the Self Eater can live. <laughs> and that's just bad. That's all just bad. I almost took the Kiki Worker, but I was like, well, if it, if he he does have natural selection, it does die. So I probably should have went Mage Torture. But yeah, if I would have had that ass assassination, that would have been huge. This just dies. Granted, he probably wouldn't have played it that way, but um, we still get the copy, which is nice. Um, they say you are what you <laughs> so we get toe beans on the board but this one got really weird I, I, I 
I guess it's partially because I didn't have a whole lot of cards in hand, but I couldn't get the coup. I mean, I get the coup with the second self eater or whatever, but um, it just got real awkward. I was I was unsure too on this this person's last play, but I guess it worked out. Um, he goes Weavis. I forgot too that this is going to be huge too because that crone comes into play later on as well. Um, I didn't hit the button yet because I was afraid maybe he did have. Um, this hurt though, this Bruce. Him eating that spy made it rough. Um, so I go uh, Mage Torture and I get the boosty crone. Which isn't too bad, I mean. You'll be I get the copy with Ku. It it procs my self eaters. When you see what this what this last card is, you're gonna understand why. Like, I just th this list, this monsters list is just dumb. Like, the for the the fact that you could put something like this in your list and still win is is a, the definition of why this card is dumb <laughs> it's just dumb i mean flat out like i i feel i played this okay i probably should have tried to find a pass but i was afraid that i that he would just two o me if i drew a bad hand So we still have self eater synergy. Um, I figured this amnesty might just get completely ruined, so I grabbed it up. This rat catcher is another one where I can copy it outright. I thought about going Dead Man's Tongue. I thought I thought well maybe I'll go bribery. Maybe I'll get lucky. No, I I, I put spying on that one because I was like, well he's gonna play. She who knows, and I can invo it maybe. I need not spill blood to make you suffer. I think it worked out okay here, but this this was I mean it it. The way it played out, like, I don't, you'll see. This is just weird. Um, I was ho now this is what the one I thought I got, which I goofed. Um, I had the boosty crone. So I figured I'd, sp I'd split first, self eater. And I'm like, oh, he's a Yurden friend. Actual Yurden friend. Like, really? I guess I could have just nuked that with Yurden. Yurden was huge. Maybe I should have took the Yurden. Maybe that's why I didn't uh, get out of this round the way I should have. Yeah, the Yurden was what? Six? Yeah, I should have took the Yurden. Although, if I do Yurden to him, I guess I get a pass, maybe? I don't yeah, I should have took the Yurden. It was four and Yeah. I should have took the Yurden. It would it would have gotten me out, I believe. I get rid of the Diplo and I believe the What's it called? So we get Mamuna out of him. I guess if I would have went last save bribery and got thing, I would have been in good shape. But this was just a I, I, 
I, I guess I should have did bribery last. I should have took the... Took the Yurden and maybe played... Well, I don't know. You'll see. Yeah, this Piggy only played for 10. The Yurden for sure was way more. Spring Equinox. Leader. <laughs> what? What? I keep my leader, so it works out somewhat okay, but... I'm I'm down a card but up a leader. And I think that leader is huge. Spring Equinox. Ladies and gentlemen. Zero point card. <laughs> Zero. I think I dropped the Brewers. I needed to find like Brothens and stuff. Um, he just passes on me so I just steal his biggest uh, self eater. Which it ended up being bad because he's a uh, effigy friend. Because I think my biggest card was like a six. So we're down a card, up a leader. We draw some okay cards. We got Terra Nova for... I need better cards here, though. This doesn't do anything for me. If he missed anything, like, I'm in trouble. But I ended up getting worse. <laughs> I got worse. I, despise I get this down. So I figured what I would do... I couldn't go fur cart because I, I needed the only special I had. It just it got really weird, like the the way the game played out. So cell feeder pops up, and I just go with my own cell feeder with uh, Terra Nova. Oh no, I go with I'm sorry, I go with the the Weavis, and I'm thinking it's a a boost, but it's not. So we go Terra Nova. We're stacking because of the... What is the Purify for? I guess for Defender? Yeah, it's the boost one. I was like, oh no. I mean, it's 10 points. So, I mean, it played for 14. And it keeps my engine alive. It gets me up to 19 if I do have a chance to get something for Sabbath. I mean, the points get pretty crazy here. Yeah, this effigy really hurt. It's really hurt. So we just go with Fur Cart and hope to draw something, one of our good cards. We go... I should have put that on Melee, but I guess I was trying to play around here. Now, that was a good card to pick up. Um, so we get it on the Melee. 29. We get a free ping. Brothens is going to copy something, which is nice. Again, again. Alright. <laughs> So we're able to copy, which is nice. I should have played this one in the back row, though. I helped him get Sabbath. But I wanted... Oh, I wanted the Milton synergy. That was 6, 7, 8. This one was 5, 6, 7. This one plays for 9, right? I believe. Yeah. So that was more. That was huge. We get another ping. Now watch this. This one's cute. You're gonna like this one. So he gets the witch apprentice out. Milton though. Damage one. That's my yoink target. It does play in the Yurden pretty hard. 
But if he didn't draw Yurden, I'm happy. 58. It's going to jump up to 60. And here it comes. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Good game. Yeah, the 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 Yurden was I should have took the Yurden on that one. All right. We'll try one more here. Um so this one was the uh Oh no, this one was the soldiers game. That's right. This one was interesting too. Um this one I I don't think I've misplayed as bad as the first one. <laughs> Yeah, we got to get rid of the remedy. It doesn't do anything in round one. Fortunately, I'm on red coin this time. The armor is kind of annoying in this mirror. I should have kept that. Uh, I think I dumped the emissary and it was a big mistake. Because of the Palmer and or the Milton. Invo's good, though. Invo's good. Portal. Now, this one caught me off guard. I'm like, what? Portal? Yeah. And then, like, I, I don't know. I was just like, what? So we just take the dame... We don't get the value off of the thing, so... Yeah, this one was weird. This was a real weird game. I thought he was going to be like, um, Vrygef and stuff. You know, when I seen this, I'm like, oh, well, maybe he's going to, you know, be flipping soldiers and stuff like that. It's really weird. Megascope. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what is going on here? So to me, I'm like, this is a lot of points, okay? So he's going to get 14 points here. He still has the collar. So he's got 14 incoming. Dead man's tongue. So he banishes. He gets 10. That's 24 points. And the caller. 27. <laughs> what? Yeah, this got wild real fast. To me, like, this opener is pretty good for him. Like, I mean, that's huge. Like, some, some decks probably couldn't hang with this. Especially something like Scoia'tael, they'd be blowing their whole combo. Yeah, he didn't proc the thing, so I was like, "Well, if I'm if he tempo passes me, I'm gonna have to play Joaquim anyways." So I drop Joaquim, and then I figured if I have coup, I can use the Milton. We draw the fur cart. We play the tourney joust. This was pretty good. I mean, this was a pretty good play. We draw up another one, a Diplo. We want to keep the thing on the board. So we get a little bit more assimilate value off of the... Well, not assimilate, but status value off of the dame. So we're going to proc this coup. Yeah, I wasn't sure what was going on with this deck. It just smelled like shenanigans. Like absolute shenanigans. I'm like, well, here comes the, sh the Scorch. He gets another lockdown. I, I guess that keeps it from putting spying down. 
we don't have very many cards left, but we still got to get this coup down. Play it here. Get that torture down. I copied the lock in case he did have something that was an engine. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. One point kind of hurt. It's like, well... And I have a bad habit of n not pulling the Palmer in on time. Like, excuse me. Oh. I I want to say he passed. No, he plays one more card because I remember I had to spend something decent to keep up. So I seen this. I'm like, well, if he's gonna play. Like Vilga Forts or something. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play another card because I want to get that out of him. I don't really have anything that goes that tall, but so I grab up the Scorpion. Still two points down, which kind of sucks. Um, but he's a, uh, this one really hurts. Like, I was like, uh, he's an Ivar friend. Huge swings, 30 points. I'm down. I'm like, okay, well, I can do this. I still have, um, I got to spend, but... I figured if I get last say on whatever he's doing, I'm going to be okay. The Ivar was massive, though. I mean, this was massive. But I end up spending two really big cards here. So I want to put Spying on Ivar. And then I could play Terra Nova and get it back. I thought about hitting that, and I'm like, that's just dumb. Like, why would I hit that? Oh, I did. He passes, though, and I just have to play Terra Nova with the Ivar. So, I take the round. Kind of expensive. I still have Ivar, or, uh... Brothens, Milton, and Invo, if he is some kind of shenanigans. No way to really bleed with the hand I have, um, especially on, you know, like everything else I have is damage, so I'm just going to be killing stuff. Wasn't sure if the Amnesty was going to be any good. I thought for a second about grabbing up. Uh, the knight out of the graveyard and playing it outright, but I figured if he has Ramon, then I'm screwed. Yeah, I thought for sure. I, I thought about it for a split second. I'm like, nope, doesn't seem like a good idea. And then he's a Xavier friend. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I forget what he banishes. I didn't even look. I was like, uh, okay. But I, the, from what I'm looking at now, I figured, well, worst case scenario, I can grab up some some of the big guys, the eights, the knights, and put them on something and invo it if it gets super tall. I thought Amnesty might be dead. We do get the bribery, which is pretty massive. So he had like all these control cards, and I'm like, uh...
I will say though, I think he should have defender in this list for what he's playing, or he just didn't draw it. So he starts out with 11 and armor, which is super annoying. Um, I figured, well, let's just copy that and boost that up. And then maybe I can get an Ivar. Although I play it way too late. Spoilers. Yeah, the the Milton in this one was kind of awkward because of the armor. The armor made it really weird. But we just go with it. I figured, well, worst case scenario, I could just invo that and... I'm going to grab up an 8. I, I maybe should have waited a little bit. I could have maybe grabbed up a lock. He's got Brigade. I'm like, uh, okay. Still unsure what the heck he is, but I just grab up the Brathens. Get that 8 and keep beefing it up. Almost a fatal mistake there by grabbing up the brigade. We could pull out another one with the the leader or the lock. We still got bribery. He's got some pretty good cards. They synergize with our list somewhat. <laughs> so we figured him out. We're like, well, I didn't have a way to damage this in a way to where I can yoink it. I was like, well, I could still play that 8 I probably should have boosted up yeah dead man's tongue not a good idea right now um, I can lock it though yeah there's a lock in the graveyard So this gets really awkward here. So we lock him up. 35, 28. I'm thinking I'm in a good spot. I mean, if that thing does get out of hand, he goes Mahakame. I'm like, well, a lot of this stuff is copy and boost. I maybe should have grabbed up the thing, but I was like, well, let's see what we get with Cantarella. Uh, yep, Heat Wave. <laughs> uh, that'll work. So now we can invo that 12 if we need to. We got a decent setup for the Milton. Now our boosts are somewhat safe. <clears throat> I want to say that, well, you'll see. De La Tour. We almost took out his um, front row. If we would have copied, we would have messed him up pretty bad. So I'm thinking, well, I got his De La Tour. If he is a uh, Vilgefortz, he's going to pull that out now, which is huge. I guess it has to go in the right row, though. Milton not looking too bad. 
random Yennefer. <laughs> so I was like, well, let's just coo that now while I can. Had to be the right decision, right? It takes all that armor off. It makes Milton better. We have less units. We get uh, assimilate value. I probably should have grabbed up that five, but I wasn't sure what else he had. Yeah, so I, I saw once I saw this, I was like, "Well, he's a Vilgaforts." This one makes our yoink a little bit smaller, but you still get max value on the Palmerin. I probably maybe could have hit the the other informant. It's one point either way, so because the armor would have wrecked it a little bit. So we're only down by one. Dead Man's Tongue is such a great card. The art is just stellar. I figured, well, if I do roll De La Tour on the bribery, I want to do it now, so. We go for it. We grabbed up another Kahir, a Lock, or the De La Tour. I figured that it was just going to be a damage, or I figured he had Vilgefords, so I was like, well, he's either got to kill a 6 and bring out a 6, or kill a 12 and bring out another 6, but he's, he, 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 I don't know, I would have played all this stuff earlier, but easy game on this one, um, like always guys, just thank you so much for everything, man, I hope you enjoyed uh, the games, uh, sorry they weren't live, but it, uh, it just got really, I don't know why I didn't record the sound on my microphone, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for everything, man. I really, really do appreciate you. Um, I'll see you guys probably Wednesday for another video.